Hi everybody, hope you're getting out in nature, hugging a tree, listening to a bird, maybe putting your feet in the grass or some dirt and just getting in touch with earth and nature. But if you've already done that, why not a reading, right? So today I'm going to work with the medicine card deck. I've had this uh, deck for several years and um, it uh, really pulls in animal spirit and connection. So if you feel any connection to animal spirit or um, animals in general and use them as your guiding source. Um, I My brother uses birds, all different types of birds for his guiding source and each bird has a different meaning. It just really depends on on what resonates with you. But we're gonna start out with uh, pulling in some crystal energy. I always like to get a feel for the vibe for the reading. And so let's see what comes out. I've been shuffling the whole time we're talking. Let's see what pops out here. And then if I have the, have the, um, Crystal, then I'll pause it and go grab as many crystals as I can and they're just falling out all over so So we've got quartz There's quartz So clear transparent uh, Easily available. It's an amplifier It's going it's purity It's receptive energy so the healing part of it is um, basically works with any part of the body system. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull in all my quartz. That sounds fun. I haven't pulled this card in a very long time. I will be right back. Okay, welcome back everybody. I grabbed the crystal, all the crystal quartz that I had, and I it's really been a long time since I pulled that card, so I was kind of thrown off there. So um, anyway, um, it's great energy. I feel a little bit of abundance, but I also feel that this is a time of clarity and that the quartz energy is really gonna bring in some clarity. So I feel like we're gonna get a very very clear uh, message with our medicine cards today. I don't think there's really going to be any question about what's going on and, and uh, what we have to deal with. So this layout's a little bit different. I always work this one a little bit differently because the animal, spirit animal is, um, is can be so powerful that we don't need as many cards and it's very um, clear cut. The deck actually comes with a book and um, I'm very familiar with most of the animals in here so but I probably will take a moment to meditate on the cards after I've pulled them. I'm shuffling the whole time we're talking and um, just to get a more concise uh, reading with this one. It's these can be very uh, clear and uh, you're just never left wondering about them. You just um, have to take a, a few moments to really process all the information. So it's a lot, it reminds me a lot of the Liquid Crystal um, series deck that um, comes with a book and everything, but it's just um, when you're dealing with certain cards that you connect with, you even though you know what the message is, you wanna make sure that that message um, that is always meant for you might have a much broader meaning. And so it's always good to refer to the book in, um, so you can reach as many people as possible in the reading. So that's why I take the time to do that and it's not the typical tarot. So anyway, Glad I had a moment to explain all that while I was shuffling. These are very, very well shuffled. So I'm just gonna get going and we're gonna go ahead and just see what we got here. I always kind of go by a visual. Okay, we've got the lizard, which is funny because I'm in Arizona. The owl and the contrary, they call it the contrary in this deck. And the moose, and then down here, this is our obstacle card that we put down here. And that is the badger. Oh my goodness, the badger. The badger is like the most powerful. <laughs> the 
The Badger is the most powerful um, in this deck. So it's the basically the most, most ruthless. Uh, this is going to be very interesting, and I'm really excited about this. So let's see, make sure that you can see all these up here. I'll put this up here. There we go. So we've got the lizard in reverse, contrary, the owl in contrary, and then we've got the moose in the positive, and then our obstacles is the badger, which is, uh, this is gonna be very interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna take a few moments, I'm gonna meditate, I'm gonna refer to the book, um, connect with the animal spirit, and I will return very shortly and I, I can tell I'm already getting excited because I can see what's what's transpiring here so this is exciting so I will be back in just a minute okay the first card here is the lizard card it is in the reverse the contrary is what this deck calls it I'm gonna bring it up this way so you can see it for a moment so the lizard is the um, the animal spirit that basically creates the, sh the shade and enjoys the shade and is impatient, um, real nice and relaxed in the shade. And it's basically called the lizard is the dreamer. So the lizard is relaxed enough to be in the dream state for a very long time. So in this uh, medicine card deck, the lizard is considered the dreamer of the deck. So the fact that it's in the contrary means that um, in, and given the whole rest of the reading, um, there's two versions here. There's people that like literally dream, that have a lot of dreams going on. There's a lot of messages that are coming through in those dreams and somebody is, some of you are, are not paying attention to those. I personally don't have that many dreams. So um, whenever a reading like this comes up, this to me refers to my dreams, like my uh, aspirations and my, um, my goals, which the rest of this reading also pertains to goals. So that's, um, you'll see as we go further into it. So basically what this is saying is anyone that has aspirations or literal dreams, they're not, they're basically in a stagnant position right now. And it's very uh, basically stopped. Everything has stopped at this point. So um, it's, a shadow work this is where the shadow work needs to come in because the lizard's just hanging out in the biggest part of the shadow of the desert and that's where the lizard does all of his dreaming so there's a lot of shadow work that needs to be done the, the whole reason everything has stopped for your aspirations or that you're not paying attention to your literal dreams is because there's something that is definitely in the shadow that is not being illuminated at the time. So uh, definitely need to work on what that is. And that brings us into the owl because the owl is the animal that can see. It doesn't need illumination. I'll put it upright so you can see it for a moment. But the owl doesn't need illumination. The owl can see through all the shadows and all the darkness. So because the owl can see through all the darkness, if this was in the upright position, this would mean we're on our way with this reading. But however, it's in the reverse, in the contrary. So because it's in the contrary, it means that we have some aspirations here and some literal dreams that are huge, huge messages for us at this time. And they're not being, the, all the shadow work is not being done. And everything has come to a complete halt. If you have dreams and aspirations, um, these are both very patient, relaxed animals. So they're very um, creatures 
So they're willing to wait it out. And, and I think that's why they came up because I think that we can have a little more patience with it, but we need to have the focus, the quartz crystal, the clarity, the upside down shadow work, the dreams, the aspirations. All of this is basically at a standstill because we're supposed to get some clarity and some wisdom because the owl is, you know, the bird of wisdom. And so there's some kind of um, turning point or some kind of uh, major roadblock that we need to get over right now. But the good thing is that there's the moose in the upright position. And the moose is also about patience. It's like the the animal of grandfather. It's the most, the largest of the deer family. It's the most patient, the most kind. It's all about self-esteem. Uh, that's what the, the moose is, represents um, the north energy the, on the medicine wheel. And that is all about um, self-esteem and, and you have all your knowledge now. So now that you have all your knowledge, you know that you need clarity with the crystal energy and the owl and the wisdom, all the shadow work here. And once the shadow work is worked on, and this is your own thing that you got to figure out what it is. Why are you, why do you keep having roadblocks? Why does every project you have reach a certain point and it just stops? Why does the, um, or, or even in the dreams, who does this represent? Who, the owl, who? You know, who, who in, within yourself is stopping, stopping yourself from um, dreaming further and seeing what your messages have to tell you in your dreams? And especially if that's your only way of getting your your information, you have got to start paying attention to your dreams. Um, so all this wisdom and all this patience definitely pays off because now we have the moose that has this like bellowing, you know, awesomeness call out into nature that says, I'm ready, I can do this, and I'm patting myself on the back because of it. And here I'm gonna take, I'm gonna pat myself on the back, I'm gonna pay attention to the clarity of my dreams. I'm going to um, move forward with, with um, grand, grand presence and, and be able to accomplish these dreams and goals that I've really set out for myself and um, not get caught up in this boredom and this um, almost like a laziness, um, too much patience mentality here where you can only, you can't do it during the day. You've got an owl in reverse. You know, you've got only this, um, you've got like some, almost a little bit of dark energy like hovering over to try to, almost suppress you in some way so you need to pay pay some attention to all that right now and have a little more clarity and awareness of of your surroundings and and who you're interacting with and and where that is in alignment to any of your dreams and aspirations now the card that is in this position for the medicine cards is the obstacles and what obstacles you have in your way in order to to which this is a beautiful outcome card so it's like you know you got your past present and future and it's just so beautiful it's like perfect it's like it's all this is like this is okay as long as this is here this is whoo okay so now we have the badger Badger comes up a lot in my uh, medicine card readings for some reason. It's a very, very aggressive animal, um, a very angry animal. And basically no other animal in this deck wants to deal with the badger. Um, 
all animals will run from a badger. They're, they're ruthless, they're angry, they're aggressive. On the positive end of a badger, they are ruthless and they will never give up and they will do whatever it takes to get what they need and what they want and their goals and their aspirations. So I actually consider this, besides maybe the eagle, to be the most powerful card in this deck. And for that very reason, it's just, it, it really depends on where it shows up in your reading um, what the message is and this uh, for especially for this card so the badger is basically telling us here that once we can get past all this shadow work which is it's it's heavy this is this is a lot this is like a long period you've got a lizard that lays in the shade all day long in the desert and dreams and that card is in the contrary, which means you're doing all that relaxing and all that dreaming and you're not getting, you, you've reached a stopping point. You're, you know, it's like boom. And then you've got your owl and this is all past energy. And then, the, and then you've got your owl who is like full of so much wisdom and guidance and, but also is always in the dark and has the you know uh, dark energy tendencies to go with it so so you've got something that's just like this black cloud that's just like hovering over your past and your present and you have all these dreams and everything that wants to push forward but there's something that's just hovering right there so so I think that's why the quartz came in. I really, it, it totally makes sense because the quartz is such clarifying, translucent energy. And that's what you need in order to get to this point. So, and I thought it was weird that that card came. I have not seen that card in so long. So it's just really interesting. <laughs> so, and then we go into the moose, which is the, the, grandfather self-esteem energy that's I can do this and I'm patting myself on the back and I'm I'm walking with you know um, essence and and strong spirit and I've accomplished what I've set out to accomplish I've I made it past this dark cloud and I can just go into the spring and just the spring weather and just um absorb that northern medicine wheel energy uh, that's all about wisdom and then you've got this huge aggressive energy for your obstacle so you know maybe depending on what sign you are so if this was for me i'm an aries this tells me hold back your anger because if you don't hold because it's in the obstacle position if you don't hold back your anger you're going to mess all this up because uh, fire signs tend to be real hot-headed and just ah, and going forward. I'm a ram, so I just like go forward, you know, and head first. And ram is probably one of the ones that would go head on with a badger. <laughs> so um, that to me, this is a warning sign. Just calm down. Keep this calm, patient energy the soft, peaceful energy. You'll get what you want. You'll get what your dreams and aspirations are in a healing mode if you can just calm this. And then on this flip side, being in Aries, I see this and this is like, oh yeah, thank you very much for the uh, confidence that I know I'm going to make this. Like, I didn't really need this in the first place because I'm an Aries and I go for what I want, especially when it's a major goal. But with this, this tells me that I'm just gonna slice and dice on the way up. So I have to be very careful to make sure um, I stay in that positive energy, especially with a lot of negative, darker uh, energy that's hovering around. This is a this is a big self-check moment that once you can get past one area that you're 
dealing with, it's, it's going to be phenomenal. It really is. So I hope you enjoyed this, this reading with the medicine card deck. I really enjoy it. Um, I relate to animal spirit a lot. Um, this deck, I've had this, uh, deck for, oh gosh, it's been a long time. It's maybe 10 years, something like that. So I connect very well with it. Um, I appreciate you letting me take some time to kind of clarify for you. Um, it is pretty close to what I would do if it was a reading for me, but um, it definitely has a lot to do with literal dreams. Like somebody, a lot of you out there are having a lot of literal dreams that are not being paid attention to and not um, being utilized to for your aspirations and your goals. So I really hope that this resonated with you. If so, hit the like button, subscribe. I would appreciate some more subscribers. Thank you so much. And peace out.